Howdy folks, in today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll be going over an induction proof for a formula for the sum of the first n powers of any real number other than one. I know it's a super catchy intro, let me unsheath my sword. This is as easy of an induction proof as you'll ever see. It's quite surprising that such a nifty result is so easy to prove, but sometimes that's the beauty of mathematics. So let's, let's jump right into it. We'll write out the equality that we're going to prove in today's lesson. So we're talking about the sum of the first n powers of real numbers. We can write that like this, the sum of x to the power of k going from k equals 0 to k equals n minus 1. Let me rewrite that 0 just so it's more clear that is a 0. And again, we're saying x could be any real number except one, x is not equal to one. We'll see why that is in just a minute, why x can't be equal to one. Now, if you prefer, we could write this sum out instead of using sigma notation, we could write it out like this, x to the power of zero plus x to the power of one and so on all the way up to x to the power of n minus one. Notice a little quirk of starting at x to the power of zero. That means that the first n powers of x don't actually, that doesn't actually include x to the power of n. The first n powers of x goes up to x to the power of n minus 1 because we start at x to the power of 0. So that's, uh, that can be a little confusing, just keep that in mind. Alright, so what beautiful expression is this sum equal to? The sum of the first n powers of any real number other than 1. It's, it's quite surprising that it should have such a nice expression that it's equal to, it does. Here's what it is. It's one minus x to the power of n divided by one minus x. So that's one minus the next power of x that wasn't in our sum, x to the power of n, divided by one minus x. If we multiply the numerator and denominator by negative one, certainly that doesn't change the value of the expression. We could rewrite it as x to the n minus 1 over x minus 1. In my experience, this form is more common, so we'll work with that in the video, uh, in this video, but it doesn't really matter. Clearly, x can't be equal to 1, because then we would be dividing by 0. That would be a big problem, so x is not equal to 1. This equation does hold true for, you know, one other suspicious suspect you might be uh, suspicious of, using S-U-S-P words a lot, <laughs> um, zero. It does work for zero. This, this is true for zero, for x equals zero, I should say, so long as we define zero to the power of zero to be equal to one, which is fairly common. If we say zero to the power of zero is undefined, then certainly, you know, this sum doesn't really mean anything because it would have an undefined term in it. But if we say zero to the power of zero equals one, you can verify for yourself this equation is true. That follows pretty easily if you, uh, you know, just, just take a look, write it out if you don't believe me. All right, let's get into the proof. I should say that there is what I think is a more elegant proof of this result. We'll go over that in another lesson, but for today's lesson, uh, we'll, we'll practice our induction skills. I always think it's fun to see multiple proofs of the same result. So we'll prove this one by induction today, and maybe in a couple days we'll prove it the other way. That's, that's cooler, in my opinion. All right, remember uh, that n, n is just any natural number. So n, n could be one, two, three, and so on. n is a natural number. So our induction proof, our basis step, begins with showing that this equation is true for the first possible value of n, which is one. So let's begin. Basis step, we'll say uh, x, x is an element of the reals, x is a real number, x is not equal to one, so we could just put an and symbol there. X is an element of the reals and X is not equal to one. And uh, what else? What's the other thing we want to say? Uh, we want to say and N is equal to one. Okay, then we can write this sum, this sigma notation for N equals one. That's the sum of X to the power of K from K equals zero to k equals n minus one. Since n is equal to one, n minus one is one minus one is zero. 
and so this sum is just x to the power of zero. Any real number to the power of zero is one, since we're assuming zero to the zero is equal to one. And if you don't want to assume that, then you can just exclude zero uh, from the set of possible values we allow for this equation. But we're gonna say zero to the zero is one. All right, so that's, then we just have to show that one is equal to this, that our expression holds for n equals one. We'll be able to see quite easily that it does. One minus x to the power of n, n equals one, so that's one minus x to the power of one divided by one minus x. That's one minus x over one minus x is one. We're all good to go for the basis step. All right, I think that's pretty straightforward, so I'll go ahead and erase that, and then we'll jump into the induction step. Of course, the induction step could have fit on the rest of the whiteboard, but then I have to crouch like this and make my handwriting pretty bad. So I erase it, and now we got more room, and I can continue standing for the induction step. Just write this induction. We assume that our result is true, this equation is true, for some natural number n, and then we'll use that information to show that it must be true for the next natural number. So we will say, this is our induction hypothesis, suppose, which I'll abbreviate SUPP, suppose that x to the power of zero plus x to the power of one, and so on, all the way up to x to the power of n minus one. This is the sum of the first n powers of x. And instead of n minus one, let's actually use k minus one. That's, that's more typical. So x to the zero plus x to the one, all the way up to x to the k minus one. We're supposing that this is equal to this expression, one minus x to the k divided by one minus x for some natural number k. So for some k in the natural numbers. So again, notice this is just supposing our equation is true for some natural number k, and that's a totally reasonable thing to do, totally valid, because we already proved that the equation is true for some natural number. We showed that it's true when n is equal to one. So we can assume it's true for some natural number. Now we just gotta use this, um, this supposition to show that it's true for the next natural number. And I assume you're familiar with the principle of mathematical induction. That means it's gonna be true for all natural numbers. Really cool, it's like a domino effect. And like I said, you're not gonna see an induction proof easier than this. All we, all we have to do is add the next power of x to both sides of this equation, because then on the left, we'll have the sum that we're interested in. Let me show you what I mean. So we add x to the power of k to both sides of the equation. So we have the x to the power of zero plus x to the power of one and so on, all the way up to x to the power of k minus one plus x to the power of k is equal to this plus x to the power of k, since we have to add it to both sides of the equation. So it's equal to one minus x to the k over one minus x plus x to the k. So just notice that this, this sum is this evaluated at n equals k. And then this sum, the next one that we're interested in, is the same thing, it's this sum, but evaluated at k plus one. So we go from x to the zero to the last power is k plus one minus one. So x to the power of k. And then of course we add the x to the power of k on the other side as well. And remember, it's often helpful to remember where we are trying to go. We want to show, we assume that, uh, that this expression was equal to this for n being equal to k. Now we wanna show that it's true for n equals k plus one. So the expression we're trying to get to is that this sum is equal to one minus x to the k plus one over one minus x. So let's get there. This, like I said, this is the sum that we're interested in. And here, what we'll do is multiply x to the power of k by one minus x over one minus x so that we have common denominators. So this is equal to one minus x to the k 
divided by one minus x plus multiplying x to the k by one minus x over one minus x, we have one minus x times x to the k over one minus x. And now there's gonna be some beautiful cancellation because here we're going to have one times x to the k and that's positive, right? So we'll have a minus x to the k plus x to the k. So the x to the k's are gonna cancel out. What else will we have? We will have negative x times x to the k. That's negative x times x to the k. What's that? That's negative x to the k plus one. So all, all that's left, all that's left in the numerator is that positive one minus x to the k plus one divided by one minus x and that's that's what we wanted. That is our result. That's the induction step. We've proven this equality for all real numbers uh, besides one, x can't be equal to one, and of course, n is any natural number. So just to reiterate that last step, if we write out this whole multiplication over here, we have one times x to the k, that's positive x to the power of k, minus x times x to the power of k, that's x to the k plus one minus x to the power of k plus one. So that positive x to the k cancels out with that negative x to the k. Then we just have one minus x to the k plus one. And again, remember that this sum over here, this is the sum we're claiming something about. This is the sum of the first k plus one powers of x. Why is it k plus one powers? Well, from x to the one, to x to the power of k, clearly that's k powers of x, but we also, we start at x to the power of zero. So that's the first k plus one powers of x, and it's equal to that, pretty sweet, that's the proof. So I hope this video helped you understand how to prove this awesome result by induction. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.